Hello, hello, and uh, welcome once again to Aviation Today. I, you know, I was not going to go back and uh, revisit the the subject of uh, of the Earth's atmosphere because I have covered uh, 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 all the layers from the troposphere all the way up to uh, to the exosphere but but uh, I, I have received quite a few of requests from pilot students uh, airlines dispatch students and those requests uh, actually um, are related to the differences in temperatures in the different layers the students uh, they would like to have an, an understanding of the of uh, of the temperatures in the layers. So we uh, we're going to we're going to do that. We're going to go back in and just just revisit the the temperatures. And we're going to start with uh, the troposphere. The, uh, the as you know, the troposphere is uh, is the, is the, is is the, is where we all live. And uh, I'm not going to go to uh, to many details about it because uh, because all we're going to to cover is the temperature in the layer in the troposphere so um, the troposphere is close is but the bottom of the troposphere is very close is very very close to to the earth surface to us so you can see that you can from this closeness you you can easy you can easily determine that the bottom part of the troposphere is warmer is warmer than the than the top part of it because it, the bottom part is close to us to the earth and the this the standard the temperature at the at sea level is uh, 15 degrees C 15 degrees C or 59 degrees Fahrenheit I repeat I'm talking about the standard day temperature at sea level is 15 degrees C or 59 degrees Fahrenheit that's what it is so you have the bottom of the troposphere that is receiving that that heat from the earth so that means the, the 
temperature is is it's a fairly warm at the bottom of the of the troposphere but we know that uh, the troposphere the troposphere goes all the way to about uh, um, I would say uh, 7 to 20 kilometers which amount uh, for 4 to 12 miles or 23,000 to like 65,000 feet above sea level so you need to understand I'm talking about sea level now because the measurement that measurement uh, I just I just told you is from this is, is from sea level okay so you know that uh, you know there are other levels to that come into play when you come about uh, when you when we talk about the the earth uh, level a level like uh, Dead Sea for example and uh, there's uh, it, it is important to to be able to to understand you know the differences between uh, sea level and, and dead sea and so on and, and so and so on so but uh, from the 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 height of the troposphere is about 7 to 20 kilometers uh, which is uh, four to twelve miles, twenty-three thousand feet to to sixty-five thousand feet above sea level. So the this is these measurements they are averages because. Uh, the layers of the atmosphere they don't uh, they don't stay constant because you, you know the, the most of the time the the actual their their actual heights depend on the seasons for example you know yeah, it depends on the soil you know whether it is it is the summer or winter stuff like that so that's why there's always uh, some kind of there's always some 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 kind of average in uh, in the height of uh, of a layer so to return now to to the main uh, subject of the day, with, with, which is the temperature of in the troposphere, starting from 15 degrees degrees C. What we know that that sea level temperature will not stay the same as we go up in altitude the as an airplane as an aircraft gains altitude the temperature decreases in the troposphere and it it decreases uh, by a rate of I would say six point five degrees C 
per one kilometers, one kilometer, or or three point six degrees Fahrenheit per one thousand kilometers. The temperature as at sea level, which is fifteen degrees C, or for or 59 degrees Fahrenheit decreases with altitude with altitude in the troposphere and it is by and it does that by a rate of 6.5 degrees C per one kilometer or 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit per 1,000 kilometers. Okay, so by the time that, so the the higher the altitude, the lesser the temperature. Until, until we reach the tropopause. At the tropopause, something very drastic happens. Okay. At the tropopause, something very drastic happens, which we which we will see in the next video. Meanwhile, have a great. Great, great day.